Hi everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today we will do this composition. In today's video I will show you some advanced possibility to make a redshift material. Additionally I will show you how to use correct redshift material blender and redshift displacement blender. Uh, we will talk also about collision tools. Then I will show you how to use a smoothing and displacer tools. And finally we will do some very easy text animation. So if you are ready, let's start. I am in Cinema 4D and I will start from the plane. Just create standard plane and give size 500 to 500, like this. Then I will create some MoGraph text. Going to text and put disp displacement. You can put any word what you like, some may be your intro, up to you like this and I will reduce size maybe 5 five zero only and maybe 10 centimeters only after that put like this and now I show you very interesting tool so uh, my text will going down for minus maybe 5 centimeter minus 5 centimeter then I apply to my uh, plane a collision tool how it's working? Make collision like a child of plane, go to the settings, and inside to colliders, drag and drop your text. Uh, for solver you have many some settings, outside, volume, interest, we will use inside stretch. I'll put this button, left button, and then when I take my text and start push up, you see my plane also moving my plane also moving okay very nice but it looks like not so good quality not so good quality if i disable now my text i will have very interesting deformation so i go to plane and i will increase maybe 100 and 100 polygons i have like this maybe i increase more 200 and 200 polygons okay and now i can see some text uh, for beginning for our uh, preparation to animation this is enough uh, because if you apply more segments maybe 500 and 500 your computer will start start to stuck okay you see yes it's stuck and animation working very very low time so in beginning i will reduce it okay now it's maybe only 200 and 200 after we will adjust now i will do some animation okay yeah you see now your port is working if on your computer it's still too stuck uh, you can reduce segments maybe 100 maybe 50 only just for beginning so uh, i will do some animation for my mo text now I put it down, later I will show you how to adjust it, minus 5 cm, minus 5 cm, like this. And then I will create to this more text some effector plane, like this. In this effector I will use only position. Position will be minus 25. And fallout will be linear. What is this and how it work? I will change like this rotation and mm, okay where is my text I need my text okay as you can see when I move when I start move my uh, plane my text going up before this my text somewhere down five centimeters down okay very good uh, why it's not updated Come on. Uh, 
uh, maybe something stuck okay later we will check what is going on or i can just delete this plane oh sorry yeah now it's now it's working okay very nice so uh, i will create some small animation for this plane okay in frame number zero my plane will be somewhere somewhere here where is my okay somewhere here my plane will be uh, just before letter two five zero and make keyframe then i'll go to frame i don't know maybe frame 200 and i push somewhere here like this up to end one six zero and apply one more keyframe and how it will be okay is going and my letters start rising you see it's pushing to my uh pushing to my plane and animation coming very very low of course because too much calculation for my computer okay we will push a stop first animation done so it's not necessary to see the plane and not necessary to see a text now we no need it uh, what we will do now we will work with some material so uh, i will show you how to use now redshift material and especially especially i will put somewhere here okay especially redshift material blender and redshift displacement blender we will use both this material okay uh, i don't need now collision i need now only a plane only plane i go to redshift settings and i disable ipr for maximal samples uh, max samples i will put four minimum also will be four then i go to system uh bucket render spiral and yeah i keep like this okay very good enable ipr if you have like this toolbar you can go to plugins uh, redshift and enable from this area okay and check what we have okay my plane i will apply this material to my plane and i think also for for good viewing i will use a redshift sun we are going to redshift settings environment and create sun okay very nice very nice so start create some very interesting material take blender take displacement letter we will use it i will show you how to use it and take material okay this material will be like a main i will apply to material blender and make it base color then i will go to texture and i will take some stone texture i don't know i already download to my desktop i will use this texture looks like very nice diffuse color okay what i have yeah it's not working because i have to apply to a surface yeah and i have this material very good but it's look like very very big size so i go to material and i will reduce somewhere here maybe five zero five zero uh maybe more yeah first of all it will be cubic and yeah like this so now i like it uh what i will do now First of all, I like to create some color correction. We are going to colors. We are take color correct. We apply this texture to color correct. From color correct, I will show you how it's working, yes. I will reduce full saturation up to zero to make it grayscale. Then I'll go to the, to the bump input apply here 
like texture and bump apply apply here like a sorry not here to my material yes apply here like a overall bump input okay uh, maybe for you it's now too difficult but if you will do step by step like uh, in my tutorial uh, later you will understood what what is going on I will try to show you all changing okay what we have now uh, we have material which is like a base color for my material blender then I will apply material blender to my final surface material and I have like this you see without bump and with bump just little bit I need it later uh, so this material maybe I will use some roughness 0.1 just just little bit to give a glossiness very nice uh, what I will do now I create one more texture and take black stone like a dark stone like this create one more material and put this dark stone inside to material diffuse color and this apply here like a color number one layer color number one so now i will make a blend between this texture and this texture for blend i need apply to this uh, second one texture some mask uh, how to do it i just take a noise and take a color correct you can apply any mask what you like maybe you're prepared somewhere in Photoshop or somewhere else so I apply here and then I will check how my noise is working go here and I can see it yeah noise first of all I reduce uh, my scale maybe only 0.1 like this then I will change mm, color correct I will increase a uh, contrast for spots then I will change my noise maybe for turbulence oh maybe for fractal yeah like fractal I will uh, use like this uh, and check please uh, white color this is like a mask yes white color it will be black one black stone and black color will be this light stone so uh, I like I will apply this mask to layer number one blend color and then apply here and what I have so uh, my texture coming with light and black colors but mm, I think it's too much black color so I going to noise and what I start to do just play with this BS color BS if I reduce I have less you see just just some spots maybe like this I will make 0.4 and I like to make uh, some soft between white and uh, black stones. For this, I have to go to color correct and reduce contrast. Maybe 0.9 only. Yes, I have like this. Looks like very nice. Looks like some spots. Uh, this material will have reflection maybe 0.5 like this okay uh, what I will do now I will take this materials hold contour on my keyboard drag and drop down for this texture I will use this marble apply it to layer number two and now I will add one more uh, material to my blend color so going to noise and check what we have now we will set up the noise again I have like this so I maybe little bit change I will make a spots little bit more like this uh, then color correct 95 like this maybe 98 very nice and noise maybe I will use a turbulence what I have no fractal will be good fractal okay dogs and maybe 3 5 okay apply like a mask for layer blend color and apply here 
What I have now? Very good. I have some spots of marble. Looks like not so bad. Okay, it's too much. You see, yes, how it's easy, how to e easy animate. Uh, maybe I will change noise here. Maybe like this. Then I increase here. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can play uh, with this noise color correction up to you when you will have satisf uh, satisfactory result. So uh, in material I will make it very good reflection, maybe 0.1 only. Here no reflection, maybe I will use this like a, like a reflection weights. Okay, like this. And finally we are going to displacement blender, displacement blend. Uh, how it's work? First of all, I will save on the desktop. Just to, no, it's, don't worry about this. Some animation coming. Now I go push stop, go to settings of my sun, and maybe a little bit change direction like this and like this. Okay. What I have? Again, play and check. Yeah, very good. Now we can now we can add some displacement. How it's work? How works this displacement? Uh, I take color correct, and inside to my color correct, I drag first texture, like this. Drag first texture. Uh, this color correct, I will make it so dark. Yes, first of all, take out saturation. I no need saturation and I increase contrast just to receive very sharp contrast, maybe 0 0.85, maybe like this. Uh, after that, I take some, uh, some, 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 some displacement, push here. Then apply this color correct to displacement texture map and this displacement texture map apply here like a base input and finally what I have like this texture without displacement then I will apply displacement and nothing happen why uh, because for redshift material displacement we have to add to plane tag name of this tag a uh, name of this tag redshift mesh Inside in Redshift Mesh we have two options, Tessellation Enable and Displacement Enable. And as you can see I will have some displacement now. I can increase the uh, size of this displacement, maybe like this. And you see how it's going. So I can change a little bit and you will see, just come closer, and you will see my object now have some displacement. Very good. Uh, in present moment I will keep like this because uh, I have only 200 segments. Later you will check how it will be more better. Yeah, but as you can see my displacement for all map is same for this marble, for blackstone and here. To avoid this problem we are going and we are copy of this uh, object color correction and displacement one time and one more time like this and what we will do uh, then I take texture number two drag here and this drag here like a layer number zero input number zero and what happened nothing happen because uh, for displacement blender I need also a, a put some mask like for my material blender so for this black stone I have this mask I take this mask and apply like a displacement weight and what I have as you can see for black stones my displacement have little change uh, same we will do for my last texture texture marble. I take this, push down, after that I apply to displacement for layer number one, nothing happen, 
I have to take this mask, this noise and color correction and apply also here for layer 1 displacement weight. And what will be now? As you can see, my white colors, white stones have different displacement like with this and with this. And it looks like very, very interesting. It looks like very nice. So uh, I will keep like this for a moment. I will finish set up this material. I like it. Just close. You see it's very, very too much job, but looks like very beautiful finally. And what we will do now? Uh, now we will start to play with our animation. So, uh, maybe my computer will going to stuck. I will save it. And what we have? Apply back collision. Go somewhere to the frame number, number 220. And I have like this. Uh, for my plane, I will add some segments. Maybe maybe 400 and 400 like this my animation already done so now we will play with displacement as you can see we have like this i will change uh, my font i will use a uh, like this more bigger will be oh yeah i will have li like this uh, so looks like nice but i have to add some additional tools i go to tools and I take a smoothing, push the smoothing after collision. And what I have, look, now, how, yeah, you see, coming some change. And my smoothing tools smooth all sharpness. Uh, inside I have some, I don't know, I have some mm, options. You can play with these options, but I will keep like this like it's going uh, for from presets. I like it. Uh, when it's done, I will add some subdivisional surface and put my plane inside subdivisional surface. So I have more beautiful picture. Yeah, you see too much, too much subdivision coming. Maybe only two for render. Computer going to stuck. But if I will render it, uh, don't forget, yes? This we put here and this we will put and material here for subdivisional because in subdivisional we have more uh, options and so I try to render one pictures just show you what is going on we have to wait because coming calculation uh, you can check yes I already created this project and I use 210 frames Mm, and my computer calculated 3 hours 26 seconds. You see, yeah, I have like this finally. I will show you how to set up animation, how coming this text slowly. Uh, approximately 1 minute coming, you see, finally will be like this. But what, have, what we have now? We are going and we check. Yeah, looks like very interesting. We have some material. We have some, uh, like, a, I don't know, like a sound. And not so bad, not so bad. Uh, what I like to reduce? I like to reduce these spots. Or maybe I will keep like this. I don't know. Yeah, I'll keep like this. I just change a camera a little bit and change some sun. Go to sun and put maybe, maybe in this time I will use like, like this. So render one more time. How many minutes is is taking? Uh, this render taking 34 seconds. 34 seconds. Now I change the direction of my sun, and I will check what I have now. Okay, already 11 seconds, 12 passing. Yeah, if you have low computer, not so powerful computer, I don't know. Better do not play with displacement, with some uh, collision tools, because in other way, in other way, your computer will stuck. Oh, you see, yes, looks like very, very interesting material, very interesting material. And I have some displacement, but it's very difficult to read it. How to fix this problem? How to fix this problem? Maybe we will adjust some, some light. So I go to IPR, play, push somewhere here. Yeah, it's going long time. 
Maybe my tutorial today will be a little bit longer than I plan. I take sun and... Come on, where is it? It's still preparation, yeah? I put down. So, uh, to set up light, what I will do? First of all, take out take out smooth, take out subdivision. I no need it now. And maybe now it will be more faster. Yeah, now it's more faster. I have some displacement. And now I will play with some lights. So, how I like to receive my shadows of the sun. No, like this I don't like. Like this, absolutely not working. Maybe somewhere here. Oh, looks like more better. And maybe like this. This blue one, this is a uh, direction of my sun. This blue arrow, yeah? Like this and like this. Maybe I will keep like this. Yeah, I don't know, but... But I think I think it's good. But anyway, it's very very difficult to read. Very difficult to read. So for reading, maybe I will put like this camera and check again. Okay maybe change rotation somewhere here and put like this what i have now yeah i have some specular from this round and i have some like a like a grass uh, no not grass sorry like a sand like a sand uh, i think i will i will leave like this now i will set up a camera so uh going to last frame Set up camera, going to the camera settings, apply this camera, and we will play with what? Okay, we no need collision, but we need now text. No plane, no plane, sorry, text. We need text. Mm -hmm. uh, my camera, my camera, going to coordinates, will be zero will be 90 push somewhere here and push back so i going to resolution and i will make 576 like this then going to display i uh, know sorry options configuration view and increase just to see my uh, pictures finally will be finally will be like this so i take a camera and make frame to final then I going to first frame as you can see somewhere coming my uh, coming my first letter yes I going to this frame drag camera here and increase and increase maybe like maybe like this very good apply keyframes so what i have yeah then i going to frame number 90 going here going to last letter and make keyframe and what i have mm, i think i have to put this keyframe closer yeah in this time i will do like this animation so and in beginning in f first frame maybe i will use like a like a rotation maybe for for only 50 degrees like this and maybe closer and what i have like this and coming like this 
maybe rotation not 50 degrees maybe only 30 degrees just to reduce the speed yeah yeah so i like it uh when it's done when everything done uh we apply back my so i will check somewhere here what i have yes i apply back my subdivisional surface i apply back collision smooth and take out text and i have to wait because it's taking some long time oh yeah okay you see looks like very nice my letter going up i will do a render of this picture maybe i will reduce now red shifts just make it two and two only for check the quality of this picture i hope it will take less than 30 seconds and i will show you one more options uh, how to use displacer not displacement map but displacer tool for my plane when it will finish just a moment we have to take a time okay 22 seconds already coming okay yes something i have now yeah some letter is coming but don't forget this is close this place a i can see c very good i can see something it, it is nice it is nice and finally go to plane and add one more tool so now i no need subdivision to increase speed displacer put this displacer between collision and plane inside in displacer i don't know i going to last frame maybe somewhere here inside in displacement i have some uh, shadings create here noise uh, as you can see i have like this result i don't like it i go to noise and i will increase size of this noise maybe for 400 percent then i go back to displacement to object and i will reduce only to maybe no i will keep i will keep like this and what i have if i will render now i will see that my ground it, it will be not like a plane my ground will have some oh you see yes you already can see everything so what i don't like i don't like this area because inside in this area i cannot see a letter how to fix this problem it's very very simple we are going to my material going to this texture noise and maybe 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 only change little bit size i don't know maybe we will use three like this and it's changing automatically so check again what i have you see last calculation taking only 11 seconds now will be oh yeah you see yes i have somewhere little bit display this placement but it's very difficult to read it's very difficult to read now we will play a little bit with now i will check so quick shadings displacement what we will do collision object yes this is working smoothing maybe i will increase a uh, smooth maybe for 90 percent what i have i have nothing maybe for six percent only come on 90 percent we have to wait oh yeah you see very good maybe i will smooth for 80 percent wait a little bit and maybe i will change back my font to normal just to see what i have like this so render again and check the different maybe it will be more better we will wait again approximately 10 seconds and very soon very soon we are going to final way come on oh 
okay yes you see now it's now it's more easy to read what i need i need little bit increased size between uh, letters length between letters so close it again go here and make maybe 10 centimeters between letter what i have finally now we have to wait little bit computer calculate everything oh no 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 no, no. it's too much five Yeah, 5 I think will be good. 5 I think will be good. So, when everything done, when absolutely everything done and you are satisfied, uh, maybe 4, uh, you go to render settings. Go here. Uh, first of all, you will increase samples. I don't know, maybe for 64 samples you will increase. It's up to you. If you need, you can make a motion blur. When your camera moving, you have some blur, but you cannot use it. Uh, system bucket, I will use 256. And output, don't forget to apply all frames. Yes, like this. And save somewhere on the desktop. I usually, I use PNG file. Uh, when you save everything, I will make a render of last pictures just to check the quality, yes, just to check 64 samples how it will be. Now we will see. And you will check how many seconds take only one frame. And when everything will be done, you are going to After Effect, make double click to the screen, take your first picture and drag and drop to new composition, like this. And what I have? Now I increase what I have. I have like this. And my letters start coming. You see, I have little bit different camera. And somewhere here I have a bug. You see, yes, my displacement map, uh, displacer mm, showing some background is also not so good. Later I fix it on the final compost. And I will add some sound from my desktop. I already prepared some sound from video copilot sound pebbles import and put here and what i have i can check yeah very nice i think you didn't hear nothing i will increase one more time yeah why why not looks like very nice uh Finally, you can add some new layer, adjustment layer, put some color correct, uh, absolutely up to you what you will use. I will use some warm, maybe, maybe go somewhere here and and looks like very, very nice. So we are going back to Cinema 4D and what I have finally, I have very interesting pictures very interesting texture of my uh, ground and i have a like displacement which is slowly going up so uh, this picture this one frame taking one minute 30 seconds on my computer uh, i don't know how many minutes is taken on your computer you can send me any comments but if you are satisfied if you like this tutorial if you find something new for your motion graphic Please put like, subscribe, share to your friends and check all my other tutorials. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye, friends.